Hello everyone. This is Mike, the County Desserts Earthquake Report, March 14th, 2013. And we've had a few quakes uh, in the last week, and especially today on the 14th, uh, in the four ranges. So I thought I'd uh, better report on them. As you can see up here, this is uh, IRIS, and uh, they've reported on it. They've got us for three of them on Queen Charlotte Islands, and uh, there's been an ongoing small uh, earthquakes going on in, in California, all the way from the north to the south. Uh, quite a few quakes happening. We did have one over in Madrid. Uh, as we can see here, there's a four, and here we go. Northern California has had a 4.6 on the f today, and that's the one we've seen there. And then numerous others here: Southern California, Central California, Idaho, all in the four ranges. Okay. <coughs> California Nevada border uh, continues on back in February and then March, the start of March. Okay, we're going to get rid of that one. Also, have some others here I'd like to show you, and I think we'll start with this one. So, this is uh, all your earthquakes, and we'll thank uh, Knox Resources Canada for this. Um, this is all your earthquakes for the last month two and better and so as you can see a lot happening as, as in the last month over in uh, Ontario and Quebec of course uh, New York and Maine and all the states on the side also are getting a lot of small quakes all the, in between two and three um, as you can see uh, the west of Canada has got a lot all the way up, right from the border, right up almost to Tuk Tuk Tuk. Uh, a lot of them happening on the uh, Aleutian Peninsula, the, uh, the peninsula here, a lot of action going on. Uh, there's volcanoes seem to be uh, acting up in this area here. So okay, I was going to go on to show you here uh, how many quakes we got <coughs> over on your left side. We got 176 quakes in the last 30 days. We have 102, two and better. We have 70, uh, three and better. And of course, four uh, at four, four and better. So, okay. So I'll um, <clears throat> go on here. I was gonna show you some uh, seismic uh, sensors off the coast of Haida Gwaii right at the moment. So this is the site here and uh, Natural Resources Canada and it's the stations and it shows you three sites on Haida Gwaii Island, Queen Charlotte Island and this is uh, <coughs> Naden. this is the northernmost tip of Haida Gwaii and as you can see there are having small tremors here and uh, we'll go on to the next one this would be the middle seismic uh, sensor and you can see they're having a little tremor right there now. It's coming up. It doesn't really look like it. It's a flat line. And that's not indicative of a, of a quake. Um, something more like this over here on the bottom line, where it tapers in, tapers out. It might come in kind of hard, but it tapers out just about every time. Yeah. So I'm not sure what this was. This could be a ship, a boat. Who knows? <coughs> Okay, we'll uh, check out one more. Here we go, we just missed a fairly uh, fairly substantial one. Not really, it's actually hard to say what they are on this uh, on this chart. But as you can see here, they've had quite a few and they're continuing here to go along as time goes along. It's starting to be a little more upset there now because as we've seen in the other, uh, other vid or other uh, sites here like this. You can see everything's starting to pick up. Um, a lot of, uh, oh, sorry about that. Let's 
turn that one off. <laughs> a lot going on, um, and, but it, more or less in small quakes. As you can see, we've had some bigger ones here, 5.8 Eastern Siberia, and uh, they continue continually getting smaller quakes and, and even bigger quakes down in the uh, off the north tip of uh, uh, Australia. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so uh, here's the ones off. Uh, this would be today, the 4.6 Northern California. Of course, uh, we had three of them, a 4.5, I might go up to come up with that right here. So these are our quakes we've had. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, they're definitely uh, a lot up in the Alaskan Peninsula and a lot down in California. So we're kind of in between here and now it seems like starting to release more in this area now because we've had so much movement in between us. Okay, one more to show you here. And these are the quakes we've had. Uh, of course, this one is our most recent one at uh, 4.5. We've got a 3.9 also today. And uh, this one here is a 4.4, all within the uh, last few hours. So a little bit of a swarm going on, Queen Charlotte Islands, as you can see it's in the bottom part of the island and that's what we noticed when we went to uh, to this seismic reader right here. And this is Barry Inlet, that's the southernmost tip of Pytoclay. Okay, so uh, <coughs> it looks like we're going to be getting a little bit of action, um, which isn't good. We don't need any earthquakes. But we're, it's inevitable that we're going to get a few here, being the, Earth's, uh, the Ring of Fire and uh, the other plate down on, uh, as you can see over here, uh, this new plate's forming across from Japan down to uh, Australia. And, this th and it's all kind of turning and moving, and this is the release point here. So everything's fine here, but over on this side, we haven't got too many releases. So when it happens, uh, we release in going to be quite a few earthquakes, I believe. I see we have another little tremor starting here. Uh, I'll just leave it on here for a sec. I'll turn the uh, turn it up a little bit so you can get a little more visual. That's another odd one. It's flat line. It's it's just um, not as typical. But it does look like a small quake. Started a little odd there with the flat on the front. That could be just a slide and then it starts to break. Okie dokie. Okay, everybody. <coughs> Thank you. And I'll uh, talk to you real soon. Bye bye.